Pinterest Fountain. I'm here at the CVCC Challenge Early College Auditorium, and I'm here with Mrs. Keisha Shuford, and you are hosting an event next weekend, but the deadline is approaching fast. It is. It is approaching fast. The deadline to register for this event is this Friday, um, and the name of the event is Crown Conversations, Don't Touch My Hair. Uh, what we're going to do is get together, uh, all ladies, natural, relaxed, whatever, and just have conversations in reference to natural hair discrimination in our society today. Um, while we're doing that, we're going to have light brunch and we're going to paint an, ex an inspiring picture while we're together. Okay, and I understand there are going to be some speakers involved. Uh, one in particular is uh, your sister, and yes. she's actually a judge mm -hmm. in Raleigh. Yes, Judge Ashley Parker Dunstan will be the keynote speaker for the day. Um, and we will have a professional paint company, Unique Soul, will be there to teach us how to paint correctly. <laughs> okay. And now I understand what is the registration fee? There's only a few spots left. Exactly how many spots are we talking? We're talking 10 spots left. I have ex and extended it for this weekend. Uh, that will be $30 for adults and ages 5 through 13 will be $15. And can you explain the significance of this event? For many people, they don't even know that hair discrimination exists or that there is an act in place actually called the Crown Act preventing the situations like this that occur. But why did you feel it was so important to have an event here in our area? Well, I saw some things on our local news right here in uh, the Charlotte area where a teacher had been discriminated by uh, against by her coworkers for her wearing her natural hair. And also you see in the news that children aren't being able to participate in their own graduation because they wear locks. And these things are just not appropriate in this day and age. And I just feel like the word needs to get out to show um, that we don't stand for it and it should be okay to wear your hair as it naturally grows from your scalp. Mm -hmm. And talk about the importance of, you know, not only in letting society know what's going on, but also our younger generation mm -hmm. coming up as well, our young girls and young boys right. who think, okay, I'm going to have to change myself to be right. a part of this particular agency or whatever I want to work for. Mm -hmm. That's true. And I would encourage anyone, if you can't come, that it, you know, sponsor someone in the, in the youth. Uh, it's a good thing to know that you don't have to wear your hair a certain way to conform to society. Uh, just being yourself and uh, that's all that should matter. 